C-Debt is a concept where we target a cancer, but only from the um, inside of the tumor. So we're trying to deliver a therapy specifically to the tumor environment. A tricky thing about working with Clostridium sporogenes is that it smells. So uh, each of us that works with it, um, yeah, is uh, horrified by the smell of it. So. <laughs> We use it by engineering anaerobic strain of Clostridium sporogenes. So actually uh, using a bacterium is a very clever way because it only thrives in areas which are deprived of oxygen and this environment can be found in solid tumours. What we're looking at here is um, the difference in appearance between obviously spores and uh, vegetative cells. The main characteristic of Clostridium sporogenes is that it starts to produce spores, the survival form of bacterium, when the conditions are not favourable for vegetative cells to, to thrive anymore. How can we get these vegetative cells inside the tumour? And we're doing this by uh, injecting spores. These are vegetative cells and this is actually a produced spore. These spores will then, once they find themselves again in favorable conditions, they will produce vegetative cells, so they will germinate, so it will become these viable cells again. And if you arm the spores with a therapeutic approaches, then you can imagine that while strain develops and grows in these hypoxic regions, it then expresses a gene of interest or some sort of a therapeutic drug that can then kill the cancer cells from almost the inside of the tumour. So it's almost like a very directed and targeted therapy. The major focus of our lab is to genetically engineer the strain and make sure that it has the best possible uh, gene integrated in, in its chromosome and this gene is converting a prodrug inside the cancer cells and that's how cancer eradication happens. Everything has to be optimized in an E. coli strain because it's much easier to work with it and obviously once we have optimized everything that we want to later on integrate into the chromosome of Clostridium sporogenes uh, will progress from there. What's really important to know is that uh, we still uh, have a long way to go and um, uh, all the work that is being done has to um, obviously progress to clinical trials. You have to believe in it in a way, so you have to believe that one day in terms of for example C-Debt it will be a viable and available cancer therapy and we will cure patients. Until now there is no successful treatment. There is a lot of alternatives there, there is a lot of kind of try and error things but I think what we need to aim at is a new novel concept which hasn't been tested before and I believe using um, spores as a delivery vehicle is one of the very attractive and potentially extremely successful um, alternatives.